This is going to be a very beginner-friendly tutorial on how to use the Polygon Chain and the Matic token to interact and buy and sell tokens. Now, we're going to assume that you're starting out with cash and you're, you're brand new to all this and we'll go through the whole process on the screen step by step. We'll show you how to set up a wallet that you can hold the tokens in. We'll show you how you can fund the wallet and we'll show you how to interact and buy and sell uh, tokens on the Polygon chain with your Matic. Now, as always, you can hover over the screen or tap the screen if you're on a phone and it will give you a timeline and you can tap through. If you already understand a step or you've already completed a step, you can just tap ahead to the next one and it's all labeled down below for you to be able to do that. So let's just dive in and talk through this process. Now, the first thing we've got to do is set up a wallet where we're going to be storing and also interacting with this blockchain. So uh, the most common wallet and the wallet you'll hear about a bunch if you're brand new to all this is MetaMask. And so we'll talk you through getting that set up on MetaMask. Now, if you don't have MetaMask, there's a link down below. You'll click it, you'll add the MetaMask browser extension to your Chrome browser or whatever browser you're using, and you'll see it'll pop up right here. So that's the MetaMask browser extension. So just click that link, download the extension, and go through the account setup steps that it's gonna give you. And then you'll be looking at a screen that looks almost exactly like what I'm looking at right here. And if not, you can always access the extension um, right here in your Chrome extensions. Once you have this MetaMask extension, now it's time to start figuring out how to add the wallet to it and things like that. So the MetaMask browser extension comes default working on the Ethereum mainnet. You can see right here it says Ethereum mainnet and we want it to work on the Polygon mainnet, which is different. Okay, and so you can see here I've already added it and we'll talk you through how to do that. But all these different blockchains have their own networks that we've got to add individually to our wallet inside of MetaMask. So the way you're going to do that is you're going to click right up here. You're going to go uh, where it says Ethereum mainnet and you're going to click add network. Okay, and it's going to ask for some information right here. And I've included another link down below for you to be able to copy and paste uh, all the information that I'm going to give you right here. And if you look at that link, you're going to see it's going to give you all this information right here. Okay, so you scroll down uh, just a tiny bit, and this is all the information that you need to fill in inside of this MetaMask spot right here in order to get this network added to your MetaMask wallet. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that all real quick, and you'll be able to do the same. Just copy and paste everything that you're seeing right here into the information right here. Now, once you've completed that, you now should have access to Polygon on your MetaMask wallet. So right here on this main page, you'll see I can click here and it says Polygon Mainnet as one of my options. If, it's, if you're not seeing this page, you can always click over to here, do the same thing where it says Ethereum Mainnet and switch it to the Polygon Mainnet. Now your wallet can only be using one network at a time. So you can see right here, it's now switched over and I'm now on the Polygon Mainnet. And I can always switch back to the Ethereum mainnet if I want to use my uh, Ethereum ERC20 tokens as well. But this tutorial is all about Polygon and Matic. Now we're going to move on to step two, and this is where we're going to be funding the wallet. And this is where I had to get a little creative because typically to fund these wallets, you have to go through the Ethereum blockchain. And in order to do that, you'll end up spending three to six hundred dollars probably on fees and most people do not want to do that so we're going to talk you through how you can fund this wallet for almost nothing but you might have to sign up for one more exchange or one more account in order to make this work so what the process is going to be is we're going to download uh, the app the crypto.com app and there's a link down below to, to download that app and it'll it can be on an iphone or an android what you're going to do is you're going to download that app and then inside of the crypto.com app is where we're going to purchase matic now matic is the main token that runs on the polygon chain so that's where it you know we can all we can buy almost anything using matic and so you're going to want to get matic on crypto.com on the app and i'm going to talk you through it real quick once you have the matic then we're going to send it to this wallet right here and that's how we're going to fund our wallet now, crypto.com should be available in the US, should be available virtually anywhere that you're watching this tutorial. There might be a few locations where it's not, but for most of you, that this should be a great option. And the other nice thing about the crypto.com app is we're able to fund it using a credit card or a bank account or very traditional methods, even if we're inside the United States, where that tends to be a little harder. So once you've gone through the setup process, uh, where you'll click that link, you'll download it, and you'll go through there, you know, add your email address, setup steps, you're gonna be looking at a home screen that looks just like this. And it's going to show you probably the same coins it's showing me, these traditional coins that everyone sees. And right there, there's a see all button. You can see it's tiny. So we're going to click see all right there. And then we're actually going to search and we're going to type in Matic right here. It's going to look for a minute and you can see we can now click Polygon Matic. Okay. And I have a tiny bit in there because I made sure this worked beforehand. But all you've got to do is click buy Matic and it's going to give you a few options. Most of us are just going to be able to buy with our credit or our debit card or connect a bank account or you can send money if you'd like to crypto.com uh, in, you know, in the form of Ethereum or some other uh, network that you already have money on and then transfer it. 
But for most of us, we're just gonna click add credit or debit card, and then we're going to add money or buy as much Matic as we would like to purchase. Once you've purchased Matic on crypto.com, you're gonna wanna go send that Matic over to our new MetaMask wallet, okay? So MetaMask, we've set up right here, has given us an address. Make sure you've selected the Polygon mainnet, and there's an address that's right here, or right here if you're doing it this way. This is the address to our wallet. We can send Matic or any tokens that exist on the Polygon chain to that address right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy that address, and since I'm using my phone and the computer right now, I usually just text that address over to myself, and then I can copy and paste it inside of the crypto.com app where I currently hold the Matic token that I bought. So now that we know our address and we've got some Matic token inside of our crypto.com app, I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna click on accounts, okay? And you can see it's got a couple different accounts, and we're gonna go to crypto wallet, and it says you've got two different coins in there. I'm gonna click on Matic, and you can see it's got a transfer option right there. So I'm gonna click that transfer option and we're gonna say we wanna withdraw our Matic to this new wallet that we've created, which is an external wallet. Now I just added this yesterday ahead of time to make sure this all works. So that's the wallet that we just saw right there. Um, and you can see on my screen, you can see the last four digits are 75BD and you can see right here, 75BD, be very, very careful. You cannot get money back if you send it to the wrong address but we're gonna click that withdraw Matic button. Now, one important thing, the crypto.com exchange had a small hack uh, about a week and a half ago, and they really, really tamped down on security. It might require you to wait 24 hours after you purchase your Matic to send it over to the exchange here. Um, and that's something I can't control, and hopefully they get rid of, but they did it right after the hack, I think just to lock in things while they figured out what had gone wrong. You're gonna click plus right there in the top right, okay? and we're gonna add and whitelist this new wallet address that we have and say, hey, it's okay if I withdraw from here. Um, very, very important that you select Polygon right there. So if you click Polygon, then we just have to go to our computer, copy this address right here that it's giving us either here or right up here, depending on where you're looking at it. Send that over to our phone or somehow get that address over to our phone and then we'll plug it in right here and we'll name it. We'll name it our MetaMask Polygon wallet and then you'll click continue and save it. And it may make you verify, it typically makes you verify with any security, proceed, any uh, you know, two-factor authentication you've added or anything like that. And then you'll be good to go and you'll now see this here where it says, okay, we've added this whitelisted wallet address that you can withdraw from. And then we can go from there. So we're gonna click withdraw Matic right there. And it says, you know, you've got right there, you can see it says max 20 Matic. So we're gonna send 10 Matic right here, or we're gonna click Matic and then we're gonna say we're gonna send 10 Matic and we're gonna click withdraw. Once you've clicked withdraw and you've gone through whatever security steps they require you to go through right now, you'll get this screen and you know that you have now sent Matic on the Polygon network. And then we're gonna sit here and we're gonna do this fun thing where we sit there and refresh over and over and over again in our wallet right here until the money shows up. So we've got our Matic now and now we can start interacting. So uh, I don't know what coin you're looking to purchase here. There are plenty of coins on the Polygon network. Um, but typically, most of the coins are gonna be found on what's called SushiSwap. And we'll leave a link down below to this as well. It's just on sushi.com right here. And you're gonna go there and click Enter App. Okay, now what this is, is a decentralized exchange, meaning we're gonna be able to go to this site and we're gonna be able to say, hey, I've got this wallet in my browser. It's got this much Matic in it and I would like to swap that for something else, right? And this exchange will go out there and find people and make that all work. And you can see right here, this is the Sushi Swap app right here. So I've got my MetaMask, I've got my Sushi Swap, and first we're gonna have to connect our wallet, okay? Meaning we're gonna give Sushi Swap access to our wallet. So we'll click Connect Wallet, we'll say MetaMask, and then MetaMask is gonna say, are you okay if this random website connects your wallet? And you'll say, yes, it's not random, connect. And then you'll see right here, it's gonna show up and say, all right, we're all connected and good to go. Now, this is where whatever coin it is that you're trying to purchase, you can go and purchase. The best place to find uh, coins, if you're, if you're looking to buy a specific coin, is you're gonna go to coinmarketcap.com right there, and you're gonna type in the coin up here. So we're gonna use an example, one of the coins that's really big right now on this chain is called Clean a Dow. So you'll click over to there, and it'll take you to a page like this, and this page will have a contract address. Make sure that it says Polygon right there, uh, but this is the easiest way, whatever coin it is that you're trying to buy, to find the contract address, which is how we make swaps for this coin. So we're gonna copy that contract address right here, and after we copied it, we're gonna go back to SushiSwap, okay? We're gonna say, I've got Matic, and I wanna swap with something, and I'm gonna paste that contract address, you can see, and look, it already knows what it is, and we'll click Import. 
Okay, so now we've got the swap set up and we just have to choose amounts and it's already told us you have 11 Matic in there right now. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, okay, I would like to spend two Matic for the sake of this tutorial and that's gonna give me not a whole lot of Klima. And then after you click confirm swap, it's gonna wanna verify one more time with your wallet. It's gonna say, is this okay if this website takes your Matic and changes it out for this token? And you're gonna say, yes, I'm okay with that. Notice that there's gonna be a fee right there. It's very, very small, thank goodness, on this network. So we'll click confirm. And then it'll take typically just uh, anywhere from 30 seconds to a couple of minutes to finish that transaction. But you're gonna wanna be very sure that you click this button right here or you'll have a scary moment. So we'll click add Klima to MetaMask. And once again, MetaMask will say what? And basically all we're saying here is, hey, MetaMask wallet, I want you to keep an eye out for this token. When you're telling me all my balances, I want you to keep an eye out for this. If you don't click that, you'll still have that token, but it might not show you you have that token and you'll have a heart attack and think you messed up somewhere. So we'll click dismiss right there. And then you'll notice that at the top right here, we have this pending transaction, okay? And we can sit there and we can click on it if we want and it'll actually show us on Polygon Scan when this transaction goes through. So right now it's stuck in pending. If we refresh for just a few minutes, you'll see this change and it'll change to green and it'll say confirmed or success, I think. And that's when you'll know that you now have the Klima. You'll also be able to know because when you go to, to MetaMask right here, you'll be able to click in right over here and see in your assets, Okay, right now it says zero, but you'll see that switch over to whatever your new uh, balance is for that asset. All right, so the process here was we downloaded the MetaMask browser wallet. We added the Polygon chain to that uh, MetaMask wallet. We went to crypto.com and we bought Matic in the crypto.com app. And then we sent that over via the Polygon network to our new MetaMask wallet right here. Once we had that, we went to SushiSwap. And inside of SushiSwap is where we actually can interact with this chain and we can actually buy and sell tokens on this chain using this right here. And then we just added it to our uh, our MetaMask wallet right here. Okay, and that's the process for almost uh, any, any chain that you wanna add to MetaMask. Please be careful to make sure that everything you're doing is on the Polygon network. You saw one time earlier, we talked for a second about how if you select the ERC20, which it was defaulting to, your, your tokens will be lost. So I always say test in small amounts. The Polygon network is very, very cheap. You can test for just a few pennies. You can send test transactions and things like that. So I would always recommend doing it that way. Uh, but that's the process here and that's the end of the tutorial. So if you like this kind of tutorial, you like learning crypto uh, without a lot of flash, without a lot of hype and in a very simple, straightforward manner, this is the channel for you. Go ahead and click subscribe and thanks so much for watching.